specifically. They hold a really good record, specifically in the qualifiers, four and one on this map. And going into draft, I mean, again, Thiel, you have to think he's going to want to get that Makoa pretty early on here. If you kind of niche as they move on in the tournament to see if Dollar can continue to have that kind of performance on what is potentially one of the biggest carry characters in the game with the drivers. That's going to do it for set number one, guys. Let's head on over to Vox. He's got a Gangstars members on the stage. Vox, take it away. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, champions of the realm. We just saw a phenomenal set come through. Ford and Nile, as predicted, shift. Looking to hold down the front line. Can't save them, Makoa, but is just buying time for their team. And Ooh. okay, well, going swimming, I see. We took a trip to the beach yesterday, and buddy, very much keen to get 190 total for Ceres. I really do have to ask you that. The, the whole Drogo's into an Androxus of Z1 Unknown's caliber. One of the first players to be able to utilize uh, Androxus like that way back in the WAN. Dangerous, but on screen right off of that, but still, we know that on this squad, Dozops has uh, flexed between that previously as well, and now Denial answering back with picks of their own. Saris locked in. Big flank, it will be a first blood coming out, at least we anticipate in this heat side of things, and it will happen for Shasha, playing the buck, first kill, going the way of QG and looking to get some more momentum into the back line of D69. Bugs, he's looking for something, anything in the back line round, he's just now kind of been snuffed out, and uh, somebody is... Yeah, doing a little something fishy. <laughs> well, hey, I mean, it's Buck. It's good. It's His name is good, good, not that good. <laughs> EAC's well. shutting it down. <laughs> but either, regardless, the fact hack. And look at this Grok positioning, just all up in the face and then using the Ghost Walk to get back. He does have a Tempest available to him, getting these Shock Pulses off as well, connecting between multiple different characters as it bounces back and forth. The Totemic Ward is dropped just below. And it's a lot of damage coming out from Tommy at the moment. He, again, still is able to dance back and forth as he's able to do so. And this is uh, going to be really interesting to see how that play style continues. And if they continue to use Croc as this frontline pressure. One thing that I, I, I think is going well for QG right now, they have the double telegraphed dives against this sniper. Kenga shaking their heads a little bit. I mean, the, the plan was clear. And I, I was saying the plan is a little bit too clear. It was very apparent what they were doing. They didn't want to change. Much of anything, you vibe with this, baby. Hey, hey, is that nocturnes? I said nocturnes. I said a nocturnes, nocturnes, nocturnes. I like, hey. You know what? It's pretty crazy, man. I mean, this, this music makes me want to do the scoreboard more and more. I don't want to look at the game anymore. <laughs> Just get me to the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. We've had some very exciting things happening. Says they're looking to shut them all down. The stun from the Grumpy Bomb stops eyedrop bodies in his tracks. But Shell Spin will close the oh. gap and pull Lazy off the edge oh. of the map. Can they find their way back up? Oh. Eyedrop bodies thrown off so close. Lazy survives. And Team Cryptic, though, have bought themselves so much Good to come back onto this payload. The problem was that Lazy was also stunned by Seismic Crash but had already activated. Poppy Bomb was able to get out of dodge. Now Evil Eye activating Dragon Punch goes in, looking for damage onto somebody, anybody. They're gonna try and take oh. out Lazy. Whips it, goes straight into a wall. It's as well as, hey, maybe a convergent double kill on top of it. Drogo's in the sky. He cannot be stopped. And blessed by Shasha. <laughs> in a row, they're back now, and there may be time, yet Hades is here, and so is Jules with a big hex of fire, but he goes down thanks to Kami on the Drogos. An unusual pick, but boy, is it working. Combustible knocks him off, but Chronix comes in and gets one kill. Rolling, rolling, no. rolling. It's a nice oh, oh, he's what? With what? a huge Disney Gage, steal what? the game. What am I watching right now? Chronix gets the Disney Gage. This man has just done it single-handedly. Even Solzy and Bidey are up out of the crowd. Primed and ready to fire away at any of the gang stars who would contest them. Could be a good grouping here for the Barrage to come out, and oh. it will. One show crashes down, two and three. So many members low. Double kill already. Oh. Making it a triple kill. Quad kill almost here. Oh. One B. The quadra kill. All five just too quickly there. Skeppy. Showing us the man himself, the chainsaw victor. I'm telling you, man, that grouping Woo! is brought up was just absolutely crucial. He's that that you're playing. Go ahead and let's talk about this lineup. Well, if they were allowed to play, honestly, they would probably win this whole tournament. Yeah. QG, no Cryptic, they're nothing against these guys. Thomas Holt, he designs the Maeve Dreamhack skin. He knows all the bugs in the game. He's going to abuse them. Now, next we have your boy, Alan, I hold shift Donna Frio. He's pretty good. Got pretty hair. Get some Kappa Prides in the chat for that boy. <laughs> He's looking good with Barty's little puppy. Wow, really stressing it out. There's Garrett. Hi, Res Martini. I mean, lead designer, Josh. I mean, he's got another game in and out. He does, and he's probably... Oh, here we go. Dreamhack Mave skin guy. <laughs> That's him. On camera for the first time. Kappa Prides as well for him.
So Josh did a great job introducing our high res staff hands for the keyboard and Chronix using his right hand just for the mouse. Uh, that should be an exciting adventure as we head into it. Maybe that'll help to, I don't know, weigh things out. Well, that's how we play it. On the barrel. Is someone ban this guy? He's just running around the horse invincible. <laughs> I think this is Garrett Martini just making pretty hair god mode. This might be. Pretty hair is looking pretty good. And now Vox with the ultimate. Chronic still being saved. Time bomb and the emote. Anyone gonna die? No, the whirlwind from Grover is gonna save them all. Oh boy. Pretty average ult. Hopefully the underdogs don't just stop here and show a bit of excellence at the start. <laughs> I want them to continue and hopefully close out this game. Uh, pretty hair looks to be. This is really nothing that would be issuing. Uh, any concern in, in the game. Looking at this gameplay from Pretty Hair, in your opinion, why don't we see as much as in, well, in the first thing? That's right. I mean, looking at his, his mobility right now, and just the, look at that ultimate. I mean, there's just no way Zen's are under the ground. This is a, this is typical Zen performance. And the fact that pros, I think in the regular games, aren't picking this up, they're just missing out on opportunity. Now. This game almost looks like the console grand finals. Oh my god. That, that big, that big of a difference. It could be channeled. Out comes the Dread Seven as well to try and stave off some of the pressure. And now King Bomb channeled on the arches. In they go. Stuck with a Wolvo. Miss channel. Will they get the explosion off? Still contesting, but Evil Eye is stunned out. Down goes Dozos. The payload about to roll through. Will I drop body sustained? Double kill for Guagua. One zero. Hundred percent calculated. 100% calculated. He said, well, all the finally Bucks jumping into Buckwild has been activated. Evil Eye tried to find the Grok, but the Ghost Walk will be just elusive enough. And this Buckwild not finding a lot. The Fire Spit will get one. Evil Eye looking for another. Is right on top of this Ash, but still just too much of a health pull. It's going to trade over to try and see if Hydra Bodies can finish it off, but good peel from Guagua. Huge salvo in the Fire Spit as well from Evil Eye. Rocking out with the Worm Jets. Doesn't have any knockback there. Confirms so much damage onto their enemies. And finds Asher on the corner. Immediate channel Dragon Punch. You oh. can't immune with Shoulder bash, the damage reduction just isn't good enough from their battering ram legendary to deal with a one-hit KO. And again, looking at conversion, 59 seconds left on the clock. 3-0. Will anybody contest? It looks like it might just go evil eyes, but he finds himself a double kill, and it leads to Cryptic getting the second push right through. The boys from North America take three maps straight.